welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a great day today. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and comment for more content. Uh, right now, we are, I am going to do a photo shoot with Chavez. Um, and also, because that's what I'm doing, decided to bring out my new 12s. Uh, decided to break these bad boys out. Um, so I can get some pictures of the car with me in the car. Hopefully. Um, but... All that's up in the air. A uh, quick update is that this car will be going back to the shop this week. Hopefully. Um, I really want to go ahead and get this car uh, serviced. Um, this time around, get the check engine light figured out, get the inner tie rod done, and then the car will be going to another shop to get the transmission done. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of downtime with the car, but um, that's why I have everything. I have some stuff to do but for the most part while the car is gone. So that's what you guys can look forward to. But right now I'm getting a photo shoot done with this car before the next season uh, is here. So we can get it before and after. And I can't wait. So without further ado, tune in. Oh. No, you good, you good. Just do your thing. All right, so uh, made it to the spot, getting photo shoots of the car, and I'm kind of thinking that I might just do um, a little bit of um, cinematic just as the car sits, because it's not going to be like this ever again uh, after this weekend or next weekend, which I can't wait for. Well, this going to have to be a thumbnail right here, though. Sheesh. Go ahead, snap that feature me. Please and thank you. All right, so it is definitely a few days later. Uh, focus here, let's go. All right, so uh, I wanna get, go ahead and start out by giving a huge shout out to Adam Bill one uh, I'll leave his information down below in the, in the description box. But he literally came, it was a really big ordeal on how this was about to go down. Uh, it was a two-day it was a two-day ordeal. The first part was I had literally nowhere to put this damn car to go get it worked on. I can't we can't have big projects like uh, doing clutch jobs uh, at home. I can't do that at home. Uh, even though we've done suspension and stuff, that's one thing. Engine stuff and pulling out subframes and stuff that's a whole other thing uh so i couldn't do it here i couldn't do it at hector i couldn't do it at a uh, one stop um, or budget performance i swear it's like they got so many names for it <laughs> and they just changed it uh and but i'm just not making you guys known to it so it's gonna take a while for, for that adjustment but uh got the new clutch replaced he even put uh I got new throwout bearing. I got new transmission fluid. Uh, dog, this, this it feels like butter. I love it so much. So, uh, with that being sp uh, speaking of which, we are going to be working on the SI today. Uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, deleting the vacuum hose that goes from the valve cover to the intake. I have a K2 uh, uh, three fourths. Uh, filter to put on it which I'll show you guys in a bit but right now I'm going to the store because I need to one get vacuum uh, vacuum caps and I need to pick up a quarter um, I have quarter I've been on my shoe game stuff so I gotta pick up quarter right now uh, so I'm about to go do that and then come back home and get this uh, breather filter in. All right, so one of the things that I really wanted to do with this new setup for next year was to make all of this a lot cleaner. Uh, but to start out, I'm going to be replacing, um, well, not replacing, I'm going to be removing this vacuum hose right here. As you see, it leads up to the valve cover. Uh, I'm just Every part I buy, I do make sure that I look at the details on what it actually does. Uh, but 
pretty much all this does is just keeps going back into the intake manifold making it a lot more dirtier than what it needs to be and i feel like if i got this refreshed then i probably could make the best use of the power that i have here so also i did tell you guys i got the car uh i got a new clutch and all that good stuff um he even deleted the bracket back there uh, there used to be uh, some clips right here. That's all gone now. So we're just slowly but surely making this a lot cleaner and a lot more appealing to look at. Uh, I got a valve cover I'll be continuing working on. Uh, that'll be the next video um, of me continuing to sand it down and paint it. This valve cover is going to be coming off. And then I probably make, I might have to refresh that because it looks like it was a little bit burnt. But I'm going to start rambling and go ahead and get this taken apart because this shouldn't be too hard. Alright, so I just got it fitted on here. And as always, for any installation, it's a lot more complicated than it looks. Um, I had to remove the bolt of the bracket holding these sensors in place over here. Let me make sure it's focused for y'all. Had to move some bolts right here and two back here. It's hard to really see it, but uh, that allowed me to fit it on there really good. Um, so now I'm about to tighten this down and then put the bolts back because th they do run in through to the throttle body, etc. Which I'm pretty sure you can delete those too, but um, I'm not going to try it right now because I only want to delete the vacuum hose. So, so I'm not really concerned about everything else. Because we mainly factory looking. It just that one part was just bugging me so bad. But <laughs> but that's fine. Uh so now I gotta go put everything back and then we can fit one of these onto this vacuum port. Alright, so the only two bolts I put back were the ones in the back to hold the bracket on. Now it's all sturdy. And to, ooh, I'm not trying to crack my windshield. That's another two hundred dollars. Uh, show you guys real quick how sturdy it is. Yep, just like OEM. All right, so that's not bad at all. It looks actually pretty good. It makes the engine bay look just a little bit different. So now I'm about to go ahead and cap the vacuum hose off, the vacuum port. Excuse me. Um, and then I'm gonna tighten this down. And then we can get a first start. All right, so it got a little bit darker in a classic fashion because I can't do any video without it. Let's see if I can turn the brightness up a little bit. Uh, I didn't have the right cap, Pete. I didn't have the right part, so I went to my local parts store uh, to go pick up a three-fourths um, coolant bypass cap, and I'm just going to tighten it to all hell, <laughs> and hopefully it works. Um, if not, I have to keep um, trying stuff. But it does look a lot better. This piece does look a little bit retarded though. Oh, wait, can't say that. I might get canceled. <laughs> Alright, so, got that installed. Can't really tell it's there, which, that's a good, that's a good part. Uh, even went and had the k -Tune sticker added on. Uh, so, got that part installed, got that installed. It's a good day. So uh, let's go ahead and try to start start her up. See what happens. Uh, shouldn't do anything weird. Um, but we'll see. Because I have never done anything like this before. So let's see. And she's alive. She is alive. Don't look like she took there any, any problems, so that's good. Just hasn't done exactly what it needs to. That looks fire. I got my very first K2 part, baby. <laughs> Well, I'll say that's a successful 
install. Um, even though I ran into so many obstacles, as I always do. Because um, that's why I'm glad I filmed it for you guys. If you guys were looking to do this um, yourselves, um, I am running a hybrid racing intake. Um, now a K-Tune uh, valve cover breather air filter. Um, but in order to install, they gotta move. We all saw it. I mean, it was definitely more inclusive than I thought it would be. But I'm glad it had to change that too much. Um, but with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and out the video here. This is the very first video starting the STX SI race build. Um, she's gonna be racing in class next year after. I'll say I'll give it like three events and then I'll uh, and then I'll start doing it because um, they do have instructors there and I get five runs uh, for novice but um, I want to get those chances to get some instructor help so I can see what improvements I need to make and how I need to drive the car with the new mods now this is the very first one and uh the next one is sh short soon to come uh that is going to require the removal of the valve cover and getting all the hardware and stuff changed out and i get to even install my my fuels oil cap which i've been dying to put on it looks so so good um and then we'll go from there because everything is getting changed up but in the next video you got to get to see exactly what what it is i have and then we're going to work on the valve cover and get ready to get that thing painted without further ado i'll go ahead and i'll take this video if life's not great tune in to make it better because that's what we're about don't forget don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below for more content i'll catch you guys in the next video tune out what's up guys and welcome back to the end of the vlog <laughs> Catch you guys in the next video. If life's not great, it's good to make it back. That's what we're about. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.